Hey everyone, this is Casey with Light Scene Effects and CMB Music Productions and Tyler Uplights. Right now I wanted to do a quick LumaDesk video about using the interface and the timer function. So real quick, what I've got is I've got a couple of fixtures here sitting on the floor and I've made a couple of sequences but for time's sake I'm only going to upload one of them because you can only do it by the minute. You can't do it by seconds as well, minutes and seconds. It's only hour and minute. So what we're going to do, if you're going to trigger the clock function from the interface, in other words, without it being connected to your computer, this is the process you go through. You go to standalone, and then you drag and drop your sequence onto the page location you want. Notice there's a little uh, swirly S in the upper left hand. That is the uh, scene fade icon. Um, so if you have multiple scenes that you want to upload, um, then you need to make sure that's enabled if you want to have a nice even fade from one scene to the other. Otherwise, it's just going to be a straight, uh, a hard cut to the next scene. So to uh, initiate the clock function, what you do is you right click after you drag and drop your scene onto the square. Um, you right click and then click enable the time trigger feature. Now this is where you set the time. There's some you can have it set to repeat and all this other kind of stuff, but we're not going to worry about that. So I'm going to, and it is military time, so it's going to be 1600 hours, and then uh, we'll set it for 1618, and then click OK. And there's also um, scene fade in and out. That's the little curly S. Um, you can enable auto next feature as well and some other stuff. So once you've got that and the timer is activated, it has a little T in the lower right hand corner to confirm that you've got that set. And then once you're done, you write it to the interface and close that, close that, and close our software. Now automatically it goes to the first page, but you want to back that down to zero. So our software is closed. We're just running off USB power right now. And as soon as it turns 1600 hours and 18 minutes, it will change to the first page and the first scene will activate. There we go. And our lights are on. So this is nice if you are doing a lighting only type thing and uh, you know, you want to program some color changes throughout the night, you can uh, make those scenes in this. What I do is I make them as different sequences and then upload each individual sequence to the interface um, and then schedule a time for it. And then it will um, do that scene change on its own. I do recommend that uh, you make sure and you test this before your event to make sure that you're doing everything properly and uh, so that way you don't have a disappointed client or have a, some kind of a technical issue at the uh, job site uh, where you've programmed times and it didn't, it didn't happen. Make sure you go through the process several times so that you know how to do it and do it correctly. All right, that's a quick uh, video tip for LumaDesk. And remember, if you're interested in any LumaDesk products, the Nano, the Live, the Ultimate, you can check out, uh, we're now a dealer for LumaDesk. You can check out our website at lightscenefx.com.